All right, plenty of time. We got a grip Okay, so just like our last equation, if you guys remember, it says Ramir uses his spare time to write novel and to write a novel and to exercise. He has budgeted 40 hours per week. He wants to exercise at least three hours per week, but no more than 18, and he hopes to write between 22 and 30 hours a week. So first of all, again, what we need to do is just determine what are our unknowns. What is it we don't know? What are we trying to solve for? And we don't know the what? Hours he exercises or the hours he writes his novel, right? So again, just create a variable for each one of those and label them to receive full credit. So I'm just going to say x equals his uh, hours he exercises and y equals the hours he writes. All right? If you don't want to use x, y, that's fine. Use a and b. Use z and t. I don't care. Just make sure you label them. All right? So let's go back through now. So now once we've defined our variables, let's go back through and see if we can write some equations. All right? Now, um, yes. One thing, one thing to note, we can have more than two equations because we're dealing with inequalities now this time, right? So remember the two equations, two variables, two equations? Or now we're dealing with inequalities, so it's possible to have more than two, in, two equations or two inequalities. So let's see. Let's just see if we can write some things. So um, it says he has budgeted 40 hours per week. So that means that the total amount of number, the total amount of hours he exercises and writes, can it, can it be larger, less than, or equal to 40? It can be equal to or less than, right? So you could write x plus y has to be less than or equal to 40. Make sense? Okay. Then let's read the next one. He wants to exercise, so exercise is about x. So the amount of hours he exercises has to be at least three hours per week, but no more than 18. So that means the number he exercises has to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to three. Well, it has to be, he has to exercise at least three hours. So can he exercise more or less? More, more right? So it's going to be greater than or equal to three, right? And then it says, but it cannot be more than 18. So that x has to be what? Less than or greater than 18? Less than or equal to, though. Right? Just says it can't be more than 18. Didn't say anything can't be 18. Just says it cannot be more than 18. Then he hopes to write between 22 and 30 hours. So y is going to be the number of hours he writes. So can y, is y greater than or larger than 22? Greater than, right? And y is going to be less than or equal to 30. Right? OK, now you guys have a graph. I don't have a graph. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do a makeshift graph here. All right, so when creating your graph, make sure you guys have an x and y axis and that you label your x and y axis, all right? Because this, we're not dealing with a dependent or an independent variable. So it's going to be important for you guys to label which one is going to, which um, axis is which. So for this one, just to kind of, since I gave y the hours he writes, I'm just going to kind of be consistent with what I know on the Cartesian coordinate. So I'm going to make this equals um, the hours he writes. And my x, I'll do exercises. However, it doesn't matter, because remember, you guys could pick any variable you wanted to, right? So it doesn't matter which one you do as the um, for which ax axis, because these the hours don't depend on one another. <laughs> All right, so how do we graph these? Whew. What I'd like you guys to do is forget we have inequality signs for a minute and just graph them as equations. Forget about the inequality sign. Just graph them as equations. So x plus y equals 40. How do you graph that? You could do x and y axis. Right? 40 to 40. Connect. Yes? Put 0 in for x, solve for y. Put 0 in for y, solve for x. Or you could solve for y and say y equals negative x plus 40. So that means you go your y intercepts 40, and then you go down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, until you get all the way to the other end. 
Then, how do you graph x equals 3? We did practice with these. Do you guys remember what x equals 3 is? It's a vertical line, right? So you go over to 3, which is b right here, and you've got to graph a little line right there. All right, then we go to x is greater less or x is equal to 18 and we graph that. So we go to 18 and I graph another vertical line. So if x creates vertical lines, y would create what kind of lines? Horizontal. Horizontal. So you go to y equals 22 and then you go y equals 30. Okay. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're not dealing with equations, though. We're dealing with inequalities. And what are so special about inequalities? Now, these are all less than or equal to, so we know that's why I did, sod, dot, that's why I did solid lines, not dotted. But yeah, it's all about the shading, right? So we can probably do these in our head without showing our work. Test. When x and y are 0, is that less than or is so 0 plus 0 is 0, right? Is 0 less than 40? Yeah. Yes. So rather than doing all my shading, I'm just going to do an arrow, because this is going to get pretty complicated. So I would shade down below the line, right? Because my point zero, 0, is true. So I'm going to shade down below. Um, yeah, it's true. So then I plug 0 in for x. Is 0 greater than 3? No. So therefore, this line is false. So I'm going to shade on the opposite side, right? So there it's false, so you shade on the other side. Is 0 less than 18? Yes. So that's true. So I shade to the left. Shade towards where it's true. Is 0 greater than 22? No. So that's going to be false. So you shade on the opposite side. And is 0 less than 30? Yes, that's true. So where is the only region inside where all my equations are going to be true? And it's going to be this little trapezoid right here. This trapezoid is where every single line is true. So that's what we call our feasible region. All right? Brendan? All right, there you go. That's it. Go ahead and have a great lunch. And when we return, we'll take our test.